In this video we'll look at installing Thunderbird in the Ubuntu operating system and then configuring it to work with a Gmail email account. To begin with, Ubuntu does not have Thunderbird installed by default, so you'll need to install it. So I'm just going to go to Applications, Accessories, then the Terminal, and the command we'll type in is just the sudo, the app get, install, and then Thunderbird. And we'll go ahead and type in the password for the root user and hit enter. And once it returns back to the command prompt, we've installed it completely. So I'm going to go ahead now and close out of the terminal. And you'll find Thunderbird under Applications, Internet, and here it is, Mozilla, Thunderbird, Mail, and News. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and start Firefox. Now the reason why I started up Firefox is because I'm going to need to log into my Gmail account first and actually enable the IMAP settings. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. to Gmail and we're going to go up here to the top right hand corner you're going to see the little gear we're going to go ahead and click on that and choose mail settings and what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually change the IMAP and pop forwarding so I'm going to go ahead and click on this link here forwarding and pop uh, IMAP and we're going to change this disabled to enabled for the IMAP and you can see that there's two different options for retrieving our mail we've got pop and IMAP the preferred method that I'm going to suggest is going to be the IMAP this is going to create a link to your email account here on Gmail and uh, it's going to go ahead and leave the emails on the server so that if you check your Gmail another way or with another computer the emails are still going to be there so I'm going to go ahead and use this IMAP technology so I'll go ahead and hit save changes and now that that's done I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Gmail and this brings me back to my Thunderbird setup now if you accidentally hit cancel on this you can bring that back quite easy by just hitting create a new account here on the splash screen so we've got this up we're going to go ahead and type in lecture snippets and then the email address we'll use and then the password for the account and so this is quite easy quite simple just straightforward your name email address the password I'll hit continue and you're gonna see it's gonna go ahead and try to configure automatically and it does the green dots indicate that it's great my incoming and outgoing server setup has been set up I'm using the IMAP protocol for my incoming and for my outgoing I'm using SMTP and I've got the correct port set up and everything so this is this account has already been configured I'm going to go ahead and hit create account and you'll see here in just a moment on the left hand side I've got my lecture snippets at Gmail I'll go ahead and expand that and you can see you've got your inbox and pretty soon here there it is my inbox is going to show up and so this gives me the option here now using Thunderbird to connect to my Gmail email account